Hi, Jonathan here. Uh, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to explain to you. Uh, check out, I will be explaining how to change your guitar string the proper way. So let's get to it. First of all, we need to lose the string. Right? Before we start, we have to lose the string. So of course, we are using tools like this to faster our uh, process. If you do not have tools like this, you can of course use your hand to loosing out the string. Right, but it takes a longer time. So I'm, I'm gonna use this to save. Uh, since this string is an uh, old string, we're gonna cut it out so to save some time. So you need tools like this to cut off the string. The reason why I cut it out is that you will be easier if you to take out the string. Otherwise, you need to pull out the whole string. It will be harder to take out, right? Okay, make sure you throw away the excess. Okay, now I'm going to put on the string. First thing first, when you take out the string, right, you have to differentiate from the thick, the thickest to the thinnest. You don't mix it up, right? So by default, they actually will bundle up two strings together. So it's easier for you. Okay, so for, for the sake of this video, I'm going to put one string at a time. Usually, I'll put two strings together at a time. But just to avoid some confusion, I'll put one string at a time. So this is the thicker string. The thicker string for this electric guitar is of course, put it on the top, right? And once you Put it up already. Make sure it's thoroughly pulled up. You don't. You do not want to have any um, uh, gap in between, because when if there's some gap, when you try to tune it, it will suddenly pop, pop up. So you try to avoid that by pulling the string first. Okay. Then you pull it up here. Use your finger to hold here. Now, this string has to come in to this hole here. On the left, the first one, right? So, how do you uh, start uh, start to put the string in? Is to make sure that you have a gap. So usually, I like to have a uh, the gap of in between this to this. So I put my measurement as uh, I use this as the uh, measurement that I'm gonna cut my string here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the string. The reason why you need to have some space is so that when you try to tune the guitar, you will have some space for it to, uh, some uh, rounds for you to go through. Now, after you cut it, you when you put it inside the hole here, you need you want to leave it like about zero point five mm space. Okay, and then you start turning it of course by turning it this way it's gonna take time but for the sake of this video I'm gonna turn it by hand so the first turn you want to make sure 
that this thing you can come closer a little bit so this thing is at the bottom and your string is at the top so when you turn the first round is at the top and then the second round you want this string to be at the bottom Like this is going to the bottom okay so once you did that you did it correctly then just continue on make sure you pull a string uh, the string here at your first nut just continue turning it until your string get tight okay you can see there's a nicely twisted string there Okay, so I successfully uh, string one string already. So I'm going to continue on the rest of the string. Now, one thing that a lot of uh, people, uh, especially beginner, when they try to string their string, that the common mistake that they make is that the first three string, you make sure that your string is coming out from the right hand. The string coming out from the right hand side, right? But when you are on this side, on the right hand, string is coming out from the left all right so but some people make make a mistake that the string coming out from the same uh, spot which is wrong so I'm going to show you later uh, how I'm going to put the string so this is the second string so I'm going to uh, go over faster I will be faster the video cut here this time I'm gonna use the this take these tools make it faster right go top and then go to the bottom and then make sure you pull the string yep done the second see how fast you can be when you are already uh, get a hold of it you can go faster Now, when you're in the third string, there's no gap here for you to measure how, what do you do? You just uh, do an estimation, right? Roughly this. Then you can just cut it. Okay, same thing, you're gonna measure roughly the gap like this cut it here now this is where a lot of people confuse I mentioned just now you want to make sure that the 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 the, the round is on the other way round which is like this you will notice that now the string is coming out from the left hand side instead of the right hand side so you're gonna do the thing up and then down notice that the uh, machine head is a little bit loose I'm gonna tighten it later so down the second time right so this is how you do it so I'm gonna go it go faster okay. you can hear notice that the string on the left hand side is coming out from the right and the string from the right hand side is coming out from the left this is the proper way of stringing it right don't don't do the other way around is wrong right
Okay, once you put on the string, the next thing you want to do is to tune it up. So, this is a very good tuner, it's called Snark. It's very accurate, so we always use this to do our job. Okay. So now, how to tune your guitar? Now, first of all, you need to know that every notes on the strings, uh, what is the notes of each strings, right? So from the thickest is E, A, D, G, B, E. Now once you already know the notes of each strings, then you, know, you will know how to tune. So for example, the thickest string here is D. What you can see here is D sharp. That means it's uh, not tune uh, properly yet. So you want to make sure it go up to E. So what you do is you need to tighten the string until you see that the, the E is at the center. Then that means it's in tune. Now, bear in mind that if it's a new set of strings, you will need to tune probably two to three times to get it uh, stable or accurate, right? So what you need to do is, even though now the string could be accurate, but when you, as you, Try to tune the other string. You will see that the E was the E on the thicker string will start to go a little bit uh, uh, not on tune anymore. That is why you need to tune few times. So for this one is A. This one D. This one over tune. You need to. Go down a little bit. This one is B, so you need to go higher. Do not expect uh, the first time you tune will be all accurate. So the last string is the most trickiest part because you are the tension is not there yet. You are afraid that the strip the, the the thinner string will snap, right? So what you do, you don't have to get it accurate first to uh, to give some ample space for you to tune later. So what you do, you go back to the first string. You, you can see now the the this is actually the sixth string, the thicker string. It's now not in tune anymore. So you tune it up again bring back the tension then now you can tune E if the first round you're trying to tune the, the last string the, I mean the first string to be accurate on E note sometimes you need to tune more and sometimes because the tension is so much you will snap the last string. So this is uh, most common people's mistake is that they try to get it right the first time. Uh, you don't have to. Just make sure that uh, when you come to the last string, if it's not accurate, it's fine. Just continue to tune back the sixth string, fifth, fourth, third, second, then only the last string. Then that way you will have more ample room for your E string to be in the accurate space, right? Now, Continue to check the, the string the third time. Okay, now for for new string, it is very it is good that you stretch your string bef stretch your string first and then try to tune one more time. Why? Because uh, every string has a, the tension there. So uh, that is why new string is easily out of tune because the tension is not stabilized yet. So by stretching it, you will make the string to be more stabilized. Uh, so you won't get out of tune that easily. So I'm going to stretch the string a little bit. You can see how I do it. Just don't pull too much, just a little bit. Just enough for... OK, 
Okay, once you stretch it, you will notice that it will be out of tune again. So this is a time you retune again. You can see it dropped back to D. That is because the because of the stretching that we did. Right. Double check. Okay, you notice that once you stretch it and you tune it again, you most likely stay in tune. Uh, you don't have to retune the second time. As you can see, the second time when I try to uh, check again, it's all in tune, right? This is how you make sure that your strings are in tune uh, for a, for a new set of strings. So that's how you change your strings. So I hope this video will help you. And the next video, I probably will talk about how you can set up your guitars, all right? If you haven't subscribed to my video, you subscribe now and you can uh, click on the button, on the bell button, all right? I'll see you again. Thank you.